So as I mentioned in the last video, this series is really about AR interface, which does build upon AR core and or AR kit, uh, depending on what you're using. So um, I'd recommend if like if you haven't used those before, just get a bit of an understanding about those about those those two SDKs, whichever one you want to use before moving on to the AR interface, just so you know which project settings to use, you know the the workflow of how to get it onto your phone, that sort of thing. And then yeah, yeah. So anyway, so I'll show you how to um, how to import how to import AR interface into a Unity project first. This is a GitHub page. All we got to do is just got to download download the uh, download the repo, and and look, you'll find that in your downloads folder. Go ahead and open it up, and we'll go um, all the way in the assets folder, and then we've got a few options here. Uh, the ones that we're really gonna we're really gonna be looking at is gonna be the um, we don't need the tanks networking uh, folder, but we will need, we will use the rest of them. I will mention that I believe at this point, AR interface, even if you're not going to use, um, let's say for example, in this project, we're just going to use AR core. We're not using AR kit, but AR interface still needs AR kit to be around for it to, um, uh, it, it depends on, it depends on that, on that API. So we're just going to grab all those, all those three. I got a I got a brand new Unity project here, and I'm just gonna drag I'm just gonna drag those three folders into my assets folder. Okay, so we've got all that all that uh, uh, imported. You'll notice that I've got here a little error message. It says the uh, the type or namespace iOS does not exist in Unity Editor. Now I'm on a PC. You might not get this message if you're on a Mac. Any either either way, it's fairly easy to fix because I won't be using I won't be using iOS for my particular my particular implementation. So I can very easily just open up this open up this code, highlight the whole thing, and then just do a little uh, little comment out. You know, so you know I can still read it, know what it's about, but um, it won't it won't give me any error messages. All right, and so now um, I suppose what we can do is open up like a, there's a there's a demo scene, an AR interface demo scene. Maybe open that up, see if we can get that onto the uh, onto the device. So I'm just going to go ahead uh, into into the Unity AR interface folder. This computer's running a little slow at the moment, but it's working on it. Here we go. Okay, so um, I'm just going to go ahead to examples. A simple AR scene and just open up simple AR scene. All right, so we've got a little cube. Um, I can go ahead and have a, have a look around. We've got this AR root object. It looks quite similar, you know, quite similar to the AR core, AR kit setup. Slightly different names, you know, but um, yeah, fa fairly, fairly, uh, fa fairly easy to sort of just have a play around with anyway. So um, I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and uh, set it up for AR core. Um, there's uh, just a few little few little changes I need to make to my to my build settings and player settings. Oops, I think I just press build and run. I say, all right, shortcuts are better. All right, here we go. So I'll go ahead uh, change to Android. So now we've switched platforms. There's only one thing left to do, which is just uh, adjust those player settings. So I'm going to go ahead at the very top here. I'm just going to uh, put, put as company name. I'm just going to put a I'll give my own company name. I'll just call it our uh, Pirates. Just R. Uh, same with the product name. Product name is what's going to appear uh, on the app. So I'll just call it AR interface demo. And then remember, there's there's four there's four specific things we need to do in our actual settings. So um, I've got to make sure I turn turn off multi-threaded rendering. I've got to change get a unique package name. So com dot pirates just R dot uh, uh, AR interface demo. Now we're going to need a different package name for every every uh, every every app that we put on our phone. So we'll be changing that that last bit every now and then. Okay. So minimum API level. I'm just going to set that to 7.0. And and at the very bottom, I'm just going to make sure in XR settings I turn on AR core supported. And now that should be good to build. I'll just call my build uh, AR interface demo. Okay, so now that we've got a built on our device, 
go ahead and open up that app and we'll get our very first AR interface application. We can even see a little bit of, little bit of a, a feature point, uh, point clouds going on in the background there. If I, if I go on the ground, I should be able to get a plane, a plane detection going. And yeah, that's kind of, um, yeah, that's, that's the basics of getting an um, AR interface app going on your phone.